After a year of mixing virtual and in-person learning, students and teachers returned to campuses this fall for a normal start to the school year. While veteran teachers have used their experience to pivot multiple times the last few years, first-year teachers face an increasingly difficult transition from their student teaching experience to in-class learning. In a field where new teachers leave at an increasingly higher rate, what does a first-year teacher experience that may push younger teachers to leave their field so quickly? I sat down with a local teacher who just happens to be my sister to find out. Sarah Wagon Connect has always wanted to be a teacher. After finishing her degree at Lindawood, she jumped into the student teaching world just as the COVID pandemic hit. Now, a year later, she is physically in front of students for the first time. It's nice to like see them smile and you kind of really know that they're understanding the material that we're teaching them. As every first year teacher can attest, there are many difficulties they have to overcome. But this year, those difficulties seem magnified. Last year, we saw test scores drop significantly in English, math, and science. And being social studies, we aren't tested as heavily. But English affects us because if the kids can't read or they struggle with reading and comprehension, then it impacts uh, how they're able to understand the use of primary and secondary sources that we use heavily in class. Stacy Hayes is Sarah's teaching mentor this semester. These mentors are vitally important to the growth and development of new teachers. How do they guide these new faculty members to success and help navigate the first year? We all work together to try and help one another and, you know, we, we like to share what we have and, you know, we, we just want our, uh, the people that we're mentoring to feel really comfortable. According to the National Commission of Teaching and America's Future, nearly 50% of new teachers leave the profession within their first five years. But with teachers like Sarah and mentors supporting them, the numbers may start to shift back soon. For LUTV News, I'm Michael Wagon Connect.